So we've come to uh, Noodles and Company. Uh, Chew ons at a meeting, and so we decided that since she doesn't eat high carb meals, we should have a high carb meal uh, while we're on our own. So we've uh, come in here. Michelle has had the Wisconsin cheddar macaroni and cheese, which I had a bite of and it was quite good. Uh, James has got this uh, spaghetti with meatballs, which is, you know, what a kid would expect. And I have got uh, steak stroganoff, uh, which I I'd like a little more sauce on this but it's pretty good otherwise. Two days ago, the news said we were gonna get a little rain on, uh, well, that was Thursday. We didn't. <clears throat> we didn't get any on Friday either. And then uh, this cropped up. It's not raining anymore, but uh, we had a, you know, it wasn't like a torrential rain, but it was a heck of a lot of loud lightning came through. Um, it's very nice at this time of year. I think they call these April showers. I'm not sure they're going to bring May flowers, but hey, whatever. Well, we decided not too long ago that it was time that we replaced one of the failing sofas uh, and hopefully salvage bits of the better ends of the sofa and put them together and make some other configuration, but that leaves us without a comfy place to relax and watch TV. So we have decided that we wanted a sort of love seat recliner uh, with a console in the middle so that we could have our drinks and our iPads and stuff and remote controls. So we started the search today and amazingly we ended the search today uh, at the first place we went to, which is probably not the, um, probably not necessarily the best system for buying something because we could have gone to hundreds of places and compared them, but we just decided this one looked good and the deal seemed all right. So Wednesday I will have a new sofa thing and the kids are not allowed to sleep on it or sit on it or, or really even look at it. They'll have to avert their eyes. I think that's what we'll do. Avert their eyes. Had a bit of a disaster today. Was taking James to a birthday party that was way, way out nowhere. And the damn address they gave us was wrong. And even nothing remotely in the area. And the person was no help whatsoever. So I've had to abandon taking James to the party and brought him here to Freddy's for some ice cream. I'm told that uh, coming soon to Australia is Carl's Jr. And I said to a friend who was saying, oh, we've got Carl's Jr. I said, I'm so sorry. And they go, well, why? And I'm like, because I don't really like Carl's Jr. much. And, and then I got this 30 questions, well, what's wrong with their hamburgers? What's wrong with this? And I got to thinking about it, and it's like I never eat their hamburgers, and they recently did a revamp of them turning them into the six dollar thick burger or something like that and um, um, yeah they usually ruin them with things like barbecue sauce and stuff like that which I don't like but I'm gonna go in I'm gonna have a hamburger I'm gonna just have them keep all the nasty stuff off of it and uh, we'll see if it's actually any good because if nothing else we want to be fair Oh, and the owners of Carl Jr. are odious trolls. That's another reason I'm not really crazy about them. Okay, well, we're going to open this up. And uh, it's going to open this way so that you can see it. Not normally how I would open a burger. Um, and there we go. We've got some green stuff. And uh, some meat and some more meat, some cheese, and some goopy stuff. So uh, let's find out. Oh well, we'll take a bite. What the heck? It's all over my face, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so here is my uh, assessment. No cars coming. Of that burger was actually, it was actually good. 
It was actually a good burger. The only thing I didn't like was the bun. That was kind of a funny bread. Um, maybe an, an egg bread or a jala or something, which normally I would like, but I just didn't quite like the texture and the of the crust. It was a little too hard. But uh, otherwise, it was good. That was a, a super bacon thick burger, which is a great name uh, for a burger, uh, mostly because it had bacon on it, which is what, you know, makes a burger edible. All right, so passable burger. I take it back. Still don't really care for the management team, but um, yeah, it's okay. Actually, it's better than McDonald's. Probably better than Burger King. Yeah.